Hi, my name is McKenna. I own and run a small business called Palm Creative, and this is my very messy studio. <laughs> Happy Monday, my friends. It is a new week. We are here to get into it. So it is already like, let's look. It's almost three o'clock. So today I have got my taxes submitted. Whew, we love that. Um, and I, what else have I done this morning? It's been a, it's been a weird morning. I finished my vlog. It's up. It's out. Um, right now I am repackaging an order that was um, returned to Sendered. Um, I reached out to them and luckily um, it was like a mistake on their end. They put in an old address, but it luckily got back to me. So we're getting that one back out and I do have some orders to package. Um, this week will be very busy because we have a market on Saturday and it is my first outdoor market of the year and I'm doing a completely different setup. Um, I also will be doing basically like a lot of different things and I'll have more products. So I'm a little nervous. I have a lot to do, a lot to press. Um, I want to get these orders done so then they're out of the way for the day and I need to do some social media content and then we got to deal with this room because right now you guys, oh, it's really messy. It's so messy. It's real bad. It's so bad. So hopefully this week will be the week that I figure out this disaster of my office because it's real bad. I need to figure out how to get this into my office and there's not a lot of room. So that will be the challenge. Um, and we have some art projects to do this week. My husband's luckily helping with a lot of this, but he already cleaned it. Um, let me show you a before really quick. Now this is the during. My husband scrubbed all of the paint and like grimy stuff off. So now it is ready to go into its next phase of looking cute. Um, I also have a new, it's on the ground, clothing rack that um, looks pretty good. I will be getting more stuff in I think on Wednesday. Um, I'm getting a new shelf. It's like a collapsible bookshelf. That will be like my new mug stand since I have so many mugs that I don't think the table display will work anymore. Um, or if it does, I'll do it for smaller markets. So lots going on as well as I'm going to be launching the coffee cozies this week um, because they are here and I want them. I just want them out there. I'm so excited. So let's just get into the week. Let's pack some orders. Let's just, let's do it. So the first order, they ordered um, the Dream Big Shop Small crew neck in a 2XL and they got the Dream Big Shop Small and Creative Department stickers and of course they'll get the free sticker and a shop card. I use these compostable um, bags to keep the apparel safe in transit so there's no like water damage. It still goes in a poly mailer but I just find that these keep everything super clean and make sure everything gets there safely, which is the goal. And it's compostable, which is great. And all of my stickers go in a little um, packaging thing just to make sure they don't get bent in transit. And so far, no complaints. And it also looks really cute. This is the new design. Um, so the stickers will just sit right there and it prevents it from getting bent up and kind of keeps, it just looks nice. And uh, just because this made me really happy, I'm going to show you who ordered this. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> it's funny because when I had my launch, I didn't know who was ordering. I just saw numbers and then she texted me. So shout out mom because I know she watches these. Thanks for your order. The second order I'm packing is the Crave Department crew neck in medium. And then they get their free sticker and shop card. <laughs> Okay, so I've made some decisions on what I want to do with my workspace. So right now my husband is downstairs organizing all my blank inventory and we moved all the mugs over to the other shelf. Um, so now it will be all blanks on one shelf. 
Now I'm going to do something kind of unconventional. So we're clearing out this closet. Um, I've already cleared out one of the shelves of blanks. And we're actually going to make this my like desk workspace. Oh, my one little palm. Oh, okay. Short story. Um, so I had these little gold decals all over my last studio. And they couldn't, obviously they were like peel and stick. So they didn't stay. And like, I had to take them off. But this one survived. And so I brought it and I put it in this closet. Because it made me happy. It made me think of my old space in California. Um, but anyway. <laughs> so this is going to be the new desk space. It fits, uh, so it says. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. But I'm going to basically rework this whole office um, because it's not functional and this storage is just not functional anymore. So now that we're moving all the blanks downstairs, I'll just go downstairs when I need to grab them. Oh my gosh, coffee cozies. And then we're going to move this shelf. It's going to go here so I can put a second one there. Um, so I have more inventory upstairs because right now, as you can see, it's already feeling real stuffed. I think one should only be apparel and then the other one should be, um, mugs and all that kind of stuff. So that is probably what's going to happen. And then I'm going to move the couch over here and this over here. So it's going to be completely different in here. Okay, y'all, I just got such a cool order. I freaked out. So now we're at 304. We love that. They bought um, a creative department um, crew neck. Uh, I think it was the, hold on, Dream Big Shop Small crew neck. And then they also bought the creative department tote bag. <gasps> ah! um, so right now I'm not going to pack that. It's probably going to be tomorrow and then I'll try to get it out tomorrow. Because um, already the mails went out. Um, I took my other packages out. But, ah, oh my god, you guys make my heart so happy um but yeah I'm so excited and I officially um announced the launch for the coffee cozies except I still hadn't told anyone on Instagram so really YouTube's the only one that knows about these little buddies but they'll be launching so soon I have the listings prepped um I just need to take the photos so I'm gonna do that tomorrow um and go get like an iced coffee make it a little thing um but yeah okay now I need to keep working on this mess of a room because I want it to be I want it to be functional also since I'm in this state of wanting to change up my office a little bit I need to figure out what to do about this light it is the worst it barely gives off enough light that's why there's two lamps in here it's also one of those ugly like 2000s boob lamps I, I, I can't This just comes out way too far, so it looks weird. This also just feels strange. It's all around. Bummer. So we didn't solve my problem, and I have to put everything back. <sighs> this room is just too small for my dreams, is basically how it feels. Good morning and happy Tuesday, my friends. I'm wearing one of my new sweatshirts, the Creative Department sweatshirt. And I just went on a walk. It's so cold outside, though. Um, I had to take some pictures because I am officially announcing the Coffee Cozy Sleeves um, coming out tomorrow. And so I need to take some social pictures. And I found this beautiful tree. Well, technically, my husband found it. Um, of, like, cherry blossom trees. And it's so pretty. Um, if it gets nice out with, like, blue skies, I might go try to take some pictures and, like, maybe get some prints. Um, so we'll see. But 
yeah, that is where I started my morning so far. And last night we had an epic fail of trying to um, get this room rearranged. It's just not working with how I had set it up. So it is now back to normal, but also a huge mess. So that is something I need to deal with um, this morning. Main things on the agenda is I'm going to try to get some stuff pressed later today. I'm not going to do it right now, but I will get to it. Because um, I need to make sure I have enough inventory um, for the market this weekend. And then I'm going to sit down and... Um, make sure I have everything written out for like what I'm bringing and make sure I have the quantities for everything for the markets And I'm also gonna apply to more markets because a lot of the application deadlines are like the next few days So I do need to sit down and like do a lot of computer work and also work on um, Like the next launches like I already have to start thinking about that um, But yeah, as far as this room I'm a little frustrated I really want to get two of these shelves and have one only be apparel and the other one be like mug stickers um, decals like everything else and so I'm a tiny bit frustrated with that at this moment um, I need to create like think of some creative ways to change it because I was thinking of putting making a little um, space in my closet for my desk so I have that out of the living room um, but right now I don't know how it's gonna work with this room I either have to take something out of here or completely rearrange it so and that is a big project and we don't have a ton of time for that this week so that's where I'm at with that, but I think we should just get into this Tuesday. It is a lot of computer work, but hopefully there will be some things being made, so that's always fun. Um, I think I'm also going to do some mugs, maybe stickers. We'll see how how the day goes, but yeah, I'm very excited. I think I'm going to go work on social media stuff first so I can announce um, the coffee sleeves. I think I'm going to call them coffee sleeves, but I keep going back and forth because I like the cozy aspect of it. I don't know. We'll find out. I also can always change it if I don't like what I put up. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this Tuesday. Okay, so the transfers finally showed up. Um, I don't know why they randomly went to Tennessee to get here. <laughs> um, but they are here. So I'm going to open them with you guys to make sure they look good. I get nervous opening in front of you guys because what if it's wrong and then I have to be like, oh, but that is part of running a business and that is why I do it. Okay, let's double check. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay, so I ordered, um, I ended up not ordering from Ninja Transfers for the rest of the launch um, because I always use super colors. So half of the launch is done with um, the DTF transfers from Ninja Transfers and then the other half is going to be um, here. And so the colors look pretty good. This is the only one that I'm a little, the blue is a little bit different. So that is the only thing that I noticed, but I also know that when I do press it, it will show up a little bit differently. But I'm happy they're here because that means we can press everything. This looks perfect. This doesn't look any different. This is a tiny, tiny bit darker than my other one. But again, I noticed that when I press, um, the colors do look more accurate. So now that the transfers are here, um, that will be something I handle, oh, the light. That will be something I do today is pressing. Um, my husband just left with our dog, with Labby, um, and he's going to his parents' house to test out our tent because I haven't used it since um, December. So he's just gonna make sure it's all clean and looks good for the event. Um, and then he's gonna test out, um, we are thinking about doing a rod across the tent to hang my tote bags. Um, and so he brought, <clears throat> he brought that over to test out with the tent. And then he also is going to test out putting up streamers, which actually are from our wedding. So that's fun. But I'm thinking of hanging the, like the, um, streamers on the back since I don't have my banner yet. Um, and that this will be my sign, which will be a project either today or to probably tomorrow at this point. Um, I do need to officially make all the content for launching the cozies. I took the pictures so they look good and I edited them as well as a quick video. I'm just trying to decide if I want to post a video or the picture. So this is the current setup of where I do most of my computer work. It is out in our living room. So my husband's desk is over there and then mine is here. 
Um, I didn't mind it out here, honestly, until all of our animals have decided they want to be involved in everything I do. Like literally speaking of, he's running over because he wants to sit on my chair and be in my way. So I'm gonna steal my chair. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is moving it into my office and putting it into the closet and making it like a cute space. So I put up like peel and stick wallpaper, um, probably do like some string lights, like make it really cozy in there so it doesn't feel like I'm like in a closet. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, I need to figure out the rest of the room. So that's kind of the problem. But I wanted to make this space out here into like a little reading corner. And so we're gonna get like a cozy chair um, and like a nice lamp um, over in this corner. So it'd be my re little reading nook. Um, which is so exciting. I'm excited to make it that, but I need to move this stuff out. Um, it also would help my productivity because I feel like when I'm out here, when my husband's home and the dog's out here and like the cats, it's just like right now, even then. Chaos, little monsters. So right now I'm in the process of applying to more markets. So I've applied to one so far and the second application is so much work um it's just interesting seeing the difference between applications like sometimes they literally just are like here's a add a few photos and you know briefly tell us who you are and here puts his info in this one is like so detailed they want my life story they want what i sell how i make it and then they want like 10 photos and they want a description of how my booth is going to be set up and this event is in june and it's march right now so um i'm a little overwhelmed but it is a very big event so i understand but it is just like interesting when you start applying to things and noticing the like vast difference between some markets and others um but yeah i'm trying to basically fill out my summer because right now i still need to hear back from one more market in may but i have two major events in may and then I have nothing after those events. So I need to build out my summer um, pretty thoroughly. Um, but yeah, pretty crazy. So I'm gonna finish this application and then hopefully I will time it well where I finish it and then I can have lunch. Um, Cause it's such a long application. I'm a little nervous. It's gonna take me a while, at least like the booth setup because um, I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna have. Um, something else though I'm gonna say, because I feel like I've had a couple questions about this, and I will do an in-depth video, but if you are somebody who's trying to get into vendor markets, um, it's definitely, it's like easier than you think, but it's definitely quite a bit of trying to convince these markets to let you in <laughs> which makes sense but it kind of feels like a job interview each time like i'm constantly like am i wording this right like is this coming across as like me um i try to keep very everything very authentic and explain my brand very well um and that took a long time for me to get to a point of explaining my brand to people um it's definitely it's basically you have to have like a mission statement it feels like but as far as like finding markets what i do um honestly instagram's a huge one i feel like almost every market now big or small has an instagram because that's like one of their main ways to um promote them and like people really don't use facebook as much anymore like i always have the events but like no one really uses it on there um so i feel like instagram's a huge one to find markets as well as um kind of like going you know how like you can go to a profile and then there's like the suggested um accounts under it if you follow that or like you look at it that's honestly how i found so many markets is through like finding suggestions and i look up like my city vendor markets or farmers markets and then you can kind of like start it's a lot of research i'm not gonna lie um obviously googling too like i i honestly just look up like for me, it's Seattle, so I'm like Seattle vendor markets, or Seattle craft markets, or small business markets. Um, and then there's a lot of websites too that have like a breakdown of different markets around the year. Um, so it's just a lot of research and I end up using Notion, my favorite thing to talk about, um, to really go through and like break down my entire market schedule. So I now have, I used to have it just on the like Google Sheets, um, but on Notion, it's like I can make it a lot more detailed. So like I have, I don't want to show it right now just because it is a lot of like personal info right now. Um, and not all of them are, are confirmed. So that's why I'm not showing you. So like I have the event name, the event date, 
the location, so like the address. And then I use I have a tagged section that says indoor outdoor. So like mentally, I'm always thinking like, what is this market? You know. Then I'll put like application due date, booth fee, when I applied, and when I was accepted. Um, so then my brain can remember all of this information. Um, sometimes I don't put in the accepted date, but it's kind of nice sometimes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got in. Um, and then I use like little icons on the side to say if I got in or if I'm waitlisted um, or if I'm pending. And then I also have like just basically a running list of markets to apply to. Um, so then I can, and it filters into a calendar. So you can do on Notion where you can build out a calendar and have it as like a spreadsheet and a calendar version. So that's kind of why I use it now because I feel like on Google I was doing it twice. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I find markets. Um, I can also go into depth in like how I actually like research it. Um, it's honestly just a lot of internet stalking, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, so I applied to 10 markets. Um, I have one more that I need to fill out everything, but it's like a super long application. So I had paused on it and luckily it was a saved draft situation. Um, so I might finish that tomorrow just because it is quite, I want to make sure it's done well because it's one I really want to get into. But yeah, 10 markets and it's from like spanning from, um, I think like, June, mostly like June to like October. So pretty crazy. Um, and some of them are pretty big and other ones are small, but I'm, I'm excited. Fingers crossed I get into all of them, most of them. Um, I also took all the product photos. Um, I kind of forgot to film that part um, for the coffee cozies. So they are all shot and they're uploaded and ready to go for the launch tomorrow. So this is the most ahead I've ever been. Um, Tonight, I'm trying to figure out what the best option is to do. I do need to make so much stuff, and that kind of was my plan today. And I don't know what happened. Today kind of just flew by, and I was doing a lot of computer work and um, kind of like digitally planning for everything, and I was like, hold on. <laughs> I haven't even gotten here. So we'll see where this night takes us. Worst case, tomorrow will be full making day. Like, I'll have the launch, but otherwise it'll be in here all day. Um, but... Yeah, kind of in a weird place. I might need to at least clean up tonight because it is a big old mess. So maybe I'll do that um, at some point tonight. So then it is done and I can make sure I'm fully like ready to go for um, making a lot of things for this market. Um, but I'm super excited, it'll be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get back to the computer because I think that's where my life is today. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, it is a rainy, gloomy day in Seattle. Let's get into what we have to get done today. So I need to handle this mess. I ended up not handling it last night, you know, because yeah. <laughs> um, but I do need to get it kind of organized and then it is going to be a press-a-thon today. We have so much to press. Um, I'm wearing my new Magic Maker shirt. Here, hold on. I made this for all you crafty people out there. Um, I think it's really cute, but I decided to wear that today. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be pressing a lot of prep work and making sure everything's organized for um, the market this Saturday. And um, I won't have as much time on Friday to prep, so I need to make sure that like everything is done to an extent. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's going to be a busy one. I think it's going to just, I'm just going to make stuff all day um, and turn some music on. And it'll be good. It'll be a good time. I also have my coffee cozy launch, so that is going to happen. I need to figure out a better way to organize, or at least keep some of the stock upstairs, because right now this is what it looks like, where it's literally just two huge boxes um, in the closet. But yeah, organizing is the main thing I need to do, and as well as um, go through my inventory and make sure I have enough stuff for the market, and make sure, and like decide what I'm gonna bring, because I've kind of changed my mind a few times on what I'm bringing. Um, I also need to change pricing on some stuff, which is a bummer, but it's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> so let's just get into this day. So I organized all of my mugs and I put the lids up here. The straws won't fit because they're a little too tall, um, but that's organized. And then I put everything up on the top. And right now I'm organizing um, the mugs. I think I'm going to use these baskets. Um, for my coffee cozies, but I need to make labels for everything. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll put them in here 
and it'll be all ready to go for the launch. time it's like 15 minutes away um, so I'm gonna double check everything and probably do a voiceover on a video that I'm gonna post to Instagram and TikTok so very exciting um, it feels weird to have a launch kind of so early in the day I used to do like Saturday at noon so that I guess is a little bit earlier than now because I'm doing a 3 p.m. one um, if it's like a weekday but I just wanted them out and I'm super excited about it so I just you know I want them into the world um, it also is now starting to rain. What a vibe. What a vibe. But anyway, I'm gonna get into getting ready for this launch and then I'll put you guys back on when it's launch time. Well, this went about as expected. Um, I barely got anyone on the site. I think it's just the time of day and it's a midweek launch, which I kind of was expecting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm also having the absolute worst time with tiktok right now i don't know what i'm doing wrong i feel like i'm following trends i'm posting the right amount of things i post every day and like i am in the worst viewership i've ever had and i don't know if it's because they want me to have a tiktok shop or if they're trying to get me to have ads you know what i mean like it just feels like like that um so i'm very frustrated <laughs> I just feel like everything I'm doing is just not working on there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, no sales uh, at this moment for this launch. And it is something to learn from that this is probably not a good time of day. I see people post all the time where they're like, oh, I'm doing a launch at noon on a Tuesday. And they like, seem to do well. But I think it's just the demographic and I haven't figured out how to get that figure it out but anyway I wouldn't have had time on Friday to launch this anyway and so I wanted it out early and I'll just keep posting about it um consistently but now I need to figure out my next move now that all the coffee cozies are organized and like my office is a little less messy um I do need to do the press-a-thon um and press all bunch of apparel and just make decisions on what I want to bring um so I'm a tiny bit stressed because like pressing just takes a lot out of me um but I know I need to do it so it's okay <laughs> um but yeah the launch was not a success yet but I hope that they'll do well at markets um that's kind of why I got them and also the fact that it's like I'm doing I think on so on my website I'm doing them for eight to ten dollars depending on the size um, and then on Etsy I did have to raise it because it is free shipping so I need to accommodate that for myself. Um, but at markets I'm not sure how I want to price them. I think I might still price them the same and maybe I'll do like if you buy one it's like a little, like if you buy two it gets a little cheaper. But I don't know. It might just stay the way it is for the first one so I can see what people think of these little buddies. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a ton of stuff from Amazon today, um, like the rest of my market prep stuff. So I have a new shelf showing up, um, another tablecloth, what else? I think another sticker, like acrylic stand. And so that is another thing I need to do today is make new signage for some of the new products. As well as I think I want to bring some keychains and I want to prep them with packaging. So those are the things I need to accomplish today very stressed but hopefully social media bumps a bit 
I'm just having a little bit of a, a slump. I, Instagram's doing okay, um, but I feel like, yeah, TikTok is a mess right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I have been considering starting a new um, TikTok page and that would be just for TikTok shop, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Um, it was really hard to run a TikTok shop, um, if I'm being honest. If you've done it before, you probably get what I'm saying, but it, their shipping requirements are really stressful and they allow like returns no matter what and it's just a lot of, it's kind of a pain. It's a pain in the butt. Um, but the sales are good, so it is kind of hard. It's hard to decide if that's something that's worth it for me. Um, but also, who knows, TikTok might be like officially gone from the US soon, so Who's to say? I don't want to do all that work and then it immediately, <laughs> it immediately goes away. Um, but that is where I'm at right now as far as all that stuff. Um, I keep hoping someone's going to pop on the website. No. I really need a video to go viral. If I'm being honest. <laughs> I haven't had a viral video on TikTok in so long. Like, I think November, and it wasn't even a good reason that it went viral, so it's like, I don't know. I'm a little frustrated. It is what it is. It's okay. Life is okay. I'm gonna drink my latte and probably start my pressing, my press-a-thon. <laughs> what in the world how are we already to this day um so this week i'm gonna point out um the vlog is gonna stop on friday and not saturday like usual because i will be doing a separate market vlog um so that will come out next week at some point um or i guess this week at some point when you're watching this um so i will be doing a separate vlog for that because i feel like it's way too hard to fit a whole market day into a vlog um and i think it's more fun that way um so i stayed up i stayed up late but i stayed up working until a little after midnight so i'm pretty <laughs> exhausted it's now noon because i decided to take the morning and like read and take a little time for myself because I was feeling pretty drained this morning. Um, I didn't also try very hard with the outfit today. Um, we're just wearing my uh, Dream Big Shop Small shirt that I made, which you can buy. It is on the website. Um, Lavi is <laughs> also not awake. She's a little sleepy bun this morning. So today we got to finish up market prep. So last night I did all the pressing. Um, and everything almost is boxed up um, for that. And then I started, um, I did some mugs. What else did I do? 
and I did um, I am gonna bring some keychains so I did prep those and put them into packaging I don't know where I put it now it's down there um, but I packed up all my postcards and um, greeting cards and keychains and I'll need to do stickers today um, so that is something that I will be um, making and then I need to finish up my signage because I do have new items including these lovely cozies um so i will need to get that done as well as finish my easel um so i do have a lot to accomplish today and i felt a little bad staying in bed until <laughs> like 15 minutes ago because i was reading and i was enjoying my morning with my little puppy and my kitties and you know but sometimes you gotta do that for yourself you know you can't always be on it because otherwise you get burnt out um so i think First off, I need to evaluate kind of where I am. My phone keeps vibrating. Um, evaluate where I kind of am in the morning. Figure out what I need to accomplish first. Um, I think I need to go downstairs or at least have a plan for like how I'm going to pack stuff. Um, there's some tote bags I need to make. It's just like a whole bunch of random things. And I feel like that's kind of how it goes with markets for me. Is like, it just kind of is a lot of like random things I think of at the last minute. But... Let's just get into this Thursday. Lavender's ready. So let's get into it. <laughs> is prep so all of my merchandise is almost all packed up and all I need to do now is finish up making a new sign because I have coffee cozies now as well as adding an apparel sign which I did not have at this last market um, but lastly we got this big project to finish um, so I'm gonna do that now we're gonna use um, Cricut vinyl smart vinyl so I have like a fuchsia and then like a light pink um, so we're gonna make this cute. Let's do it. <laughs> um, I also had a really big sale come through, so I'm very excited in their 305. Um, I'm really excited to see how many orders I get and if I get to over 400 with this market, so fingers crossed. Um, and I think we're just going to jump into it. Last night I finished up um, designing some extra signage for my new items 
and I need to clean up a teeny bit in here and get it all good. Um, my family's actually gonna be here um, in a couple hours, so it's gonna be a shorter day. So I just have to finish this stuff up. Um, but yeah, let's just get into what we need to get finished. the vlog this week I know today was a little bit shorter than usual um, but since my family's gonna be here and I got a lot of stuff done in the last few days I decided to just end it here and there will be a separate vlog for oh my gosh lavender just attacked me there'll be a separate vlog for um, the market that I'm doing so you can watch that hopefully quite soon after you watch this one maybe within a few days so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this content oh my gosh lavender is angry at me it's because i got up make sure to like subscribe all those things um and follow me over on instagram i've been posting a lot more over there um as well as tiktok but thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time Bye.